it has come to the notice of the public that the Nigerian police force states that a threat letter of attack to numerous churches was sent to them. Ah, good God. That is to say the old church attack that people are trying to even revive from it is not even enough for these perpetrators. They are now going to attack more churches, guys. Please, they always say to us, even when I was a growing child, that police are your friends. Police in Nigeria are not friends to you. Fine and good, they do their work, but when it comes to calls you or attack, they will waste time before they will come to that premises. That is why you see that most of the time, crime is done already and the criminals are already at large before you will see them swift into action because most times they will tell you there is no fuel send money for fuel how will they mobilize their boys this is what we hear in nigeria from the nigeria police force but i pray as this ogapatapata in this video says that they are at these they are ready to work i hope federal government have really sensitized the force and for the church chief executive organizer of various churches it's high time the church beef up their securities in your own territory and don't depend on the government to send their military men for unforeseen circumstance which we don't pray for okay you have heard it too from the horse's mouth they said that they've received a letter and you should be security conscious and still guard yourself even though you are in the church in the presence of god there are certain things god cannot do for man except you help yourself first before god's help will come okay so churches i will advise that the money you derive from Titan offering is of you to be wearing designer's clothes and be flying from one country to another. If really you love your church and your congregation, okay, beef up security because in Nigeria now it is violence that to be taken by force. It is recorded in the Bible. Churches give adequate training to your church protocols and ushers. I will link the video of Asari Tokubo, where he talked about how Nigerians should now protect themselves in Nigeria because the government is slow. Okay, so guys, be very careful when you are in church gathering and avoid keeping late night and also go home on time after Bible study in the evening. The threat letter was not sent to the churches. The threat letter was dropped at around the headquarters and it was brought to me. I was the one that opened the envelope, read the threat letter. On seeing that, I now invited the Christian Association of Nigeria to tell them about the threat. Whether it is real or not, we have to be security conscious. So I gave them copies of the letter so that they will adjust their programs in the church. Instead of closing late, they should close on time. Thereabout, I now directed all my DPOs to ensure that every Friday, police patrol team must go to mosque and give them adequate security until they finish the Jumat prayers. Equally, on Sundays, all the patrol teams will go around the churches and ensure that they are safe and after the church service before they close. The threat we don't take it lightly because you don't know who is behind it. And I've advised the Christian community to be peaceful. They should not bother. I'm on top of the situation. And I told them that if they, have, if they notice anything, they should make sure they inform me immediately. And they themselves should have their security men to be on guard. If they see any suspicious movement, they should inform me. Because security is not just for the police, it's for everybody. So that's what I did. The letter came to me by investigating. I've directed my SIB to move in to see if we can unravel 
the circumstances beyond the letter. The DSS are equally working on because I've informed all the security agencies, all, and we are all investigating to get to the root of the matter. They say a word is enough for the wise, and the wise learns from other people's experience, not allowing that same experience to happen to him or her. I came across a post or a video about Bishop David Oyedebo saying that his church can never be attacked, but I know prayers without work is useless. Inasmuch as God is our protector, we have to protect ourselves as well because heaven help those who help themselves. Man are no longer fall from heaven as in the time of the old. You have to work hard to get what you want. Many thanks for watching to the end. Please don't hesitate to share and give the video a thumbs up. See you some other time, God willing. Don't forget that the Nigeria police can only be your friend when you roger or you give a big fat brown envelope. Be vigilant.